Right, in this video, we're going to just finish off this page, this template, before we start to make the other pages out of it. So if we go back to this here, just to remind ourselves where we're up to. So we've got the banner, we've got the buttons, we need to make the pages and the text. But before we do that, let's finish this off. It's a little blank, it's blank, there's nothing there. So let's just separate them out a bit. Remember, any changes you do here will save you time later on. So what I, what I like to do is decide on the font and the color scheme straight away. So what I'm going to do is basically just select all these here, and I'm going to... BG, get the orange, fill it in. Nice and simple. So now we have all them in there. I'm also going to do the same thing for the bottom here. BG, get the same color as this. So now I've got something that matches that. And if you want to, you can use some of the colors that we have in here if you want to. Um, make it slightly different. So for example, you want to go in here. You could, if you want, get the green in there instead. And if you want, get the um, orange and get the blue so it matches it all and have red in here instead it's really up to you okay but I quite like the way it looked before there you go done next thing is obviously can you see how the cursor is in the middle let's get them to the top make a default left top and make it left here press cancel sorry one second yep that's fine same thing here left top left um, top. The other thing is, click on the outside here. See how I've got the mouse and clicked on the edge of the table. Now the entire table is selected. If you come down here where it says align, make sure that says center. What that will do is you can't see any difference here. However, if I save this and go on to my preview here, zoom out, you can see that the, that the whole website jumps to the left. Whereas if I refresh it, it'll put it in the middle. Okay, so you can see it's bang in the middle and this is centered as well. So now if I go to um, normal 100% and if I press F11, you can see that it's bang in the middle. Now the reason why there is a bit of a um, scrolling here is because I've got the borders on the table on the website itself. So I'm going to have to press F11 again to come off is get rid of the lines themselves. And that is really simply right here since we got well, since we're on there. Click on the edge of the table, come over here with border, delete that, put zero instead, press enter. And that should make it so much more slimmer and should work. So I'm going to save that and that's it. Next thing is to basically get fonts that you want to have in this area. So I'm going to go in here, right click and going to go to CSS styles and then go and click a new one. Um, what is always a good idea to do, in fact some of you want to, one second, I just remembered, there is one little area that I'd like to put in here. It's always a good idea, especially for those who are aiming high, is to have an area for your title. Two things you could do. One at the top here, you can type in what this actual website, web page is. So if you're doing the home page, you put the home page here. If you're on the football page, you put football page there. Just realize I've spelled football wrong, um, which I'm going to fix in a second. I need to go in here and decide what font I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this. Uh, with rows, yep, that's fine. And I'm going to drag this up, and I can have that there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up as well. Yep, and split. Yep, and then I'm going to just select all of that, right click, and merge. Done. Now I'm going to have a separate font for here, so I'm going to have this central. There we go, and middle, and that's going to be a separate font to what's in here. So I'm going to go in here first, right click and CSS styles new. I'm going to call this uh, page title font. So I know what this is. Press OK. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to go for Arial and I'm going to go for bold size 16 will do I reckon. And the color I'm going to go for this because it's an orange background and I'm happy with that, press apply and press OK. And when I go in there, you'll see that down here it says new CSS styles because it's not been applied yet. So I'm going to go on there and then type, click on page title font. And then when I save this, control and S, when I copy the pages, it will remember that that is supposed to be that font. But if I'm you know paranoid, I can just type in welcome to the and put a space and wait, keep it there as it is. So then it's ready for me to type in the rest when I come to wait, making the, the pages. Now from here, for these areas here, 
I need to create other uh, font styles as well. Now, when you've done that, you can see some some of you might look at that and say that's too small, sir. You know, it doesn't look good. So you can just go on down here. Can you see it says edit to a rule? Go down here and you can change it. So you can go up here, make it 8, 24 or 18. I'm going to go for 18. Apply and press OK. And if I click on that and just go to that and you see it's slightly larger. OK. Again, if I want to edit it to show you, oh, cancel. Click on it first. There we go. That helps. And make it 24 this time. Apply, press OK. You'll see it's larger. So in fact, I quite like 24, so I'm going to keep that there. Here, I'm going to create a new rule. CSS styles, new. I'm going to call this main text font. So I know which font is for the title, which font is for the, uh, the main text. Press OK. Similar thing. I'm going to keep that Arial. I'm going to choose a color to be this. This time, I'm not going to have it bold. I'm going to have it just simple. And I'm going to have it 16. And press Apply. And press OK. Done. So now, if I go in here, I just change that to page title. Sorry, not page title. I want it to be main text. Go in here. Main text. Go in here. And main text. And that's it. So the page is now ready for me to use. Control and S. Cross it off. And all we're going to do is go to the... Um, pages folder and we're going to copy this and before I quite carry on any further you may have noticed uh, early on I said that I spelt the uh, one of the buttons wrong and the good thing is that if we save them we should be able to just open it up and make the changes so if we go back in here and find the buttons this is why I prefer PNG over JPEG however if they do ask for JPEG you've got no choice on that matter you have to use JPEG but the problem with that is you can't go back and add to it you can't change it whereas here PNG allows you to do that, so I can just double click this and it should hopefully, oh sorry, open it in Fireworks, there we go, and I should be able to just go straight in there and type in the extra missing letter, change it, that's it, save, and I should be able to then go into the next one, go back inside, double click, type in the letter, done, save. And the beauty of this, lads, is if I go back into my web pages and open this up, it updates the button automatically. I don't need to re-enter it. You can see, it's all fine. Right, so last thing. We're going to organize, copy, and because we've got three pages, we're going to paste it three times. So paste, paste, paste. If you have four pages, you print you paste it four times. If you've got five pages, you paste it five times. So I'm going here, edit, rename. We know we've got a home page. We know that we also have a football page. And we also know that we have a tennis page. Done. And now just have to open it up and get ready for the next stage. There you go. So we have home page, football page, tennis page. For the extra marks, here at the top, it says title. Type in exactly the same thing. Home page. Enter. Control and S. Save. Go to the next one. Change that to football page. Enter. Control S. Next one. Tennis page. Enter. Control S. Done. And you'll see the difference of this and what that makes uh, in the next video.